I'm gonna show you how you can use the top messaging app in the world to boost your engagement, optimize customer support, and drive sales for your business. It's time to craft a profile that'll begin to boost your business. Here, you'll want to enter the specifics of your business. For example, I'd enter Tori's Hats as my brand name. Then add a logo or photo that best represents your business. If you choose to go with a logo, remember to resize it for the circular display. The point is to become immediately recognizable to customers, and that can't happen if your logo is awkwardly cropped. So you wanna choose an appropriate category. So for my business, I would go with shopping and retail and clothing store. Continue to enhance your profile by adding your shop's address, website link, and business description. Your description is where you'll say what your business is and what makes it special. There's a 139 character limit, so you'll want to keep it short. If you're stuck here, take a breath, and just focus on your unique selling proposition. For Tori's hats, I'd say exclusive hats, unrivaled quality, diverse styles, personalized for you. Tap add business hours to let folks know when you're open. While this may be simple, investing in this step can cut down on one of the biggest questions I know I personally ask businesses, what are your hours, when are you open? You can go for selected hours to specify opening times for each day, always open if you're operating all the time, or by appointment for days when you're available for appointments. Whichever you decide, don't forget to use the check boxes to select the days you're open in each template. After making your selections, click save to lock in your schedule. From there, just toss in an email. With your profile looking good, let's switch gears to speak on a feature that can transform the way your customers discover and purchase your products. The catalog feature showcases your products with names, prices, and descriptions, helping customers easily recognize and learn about them. To get started here, just tap Tools, Catalog, Add New Item. Add a clear photo of your product, put in basic info like name, price, and product description. You can also choose to put in a website link or item code. These will let your customers quickly access more details, make online purchases, or reference specific items for orders. Edit or delete products anytime by coming back to this section. Keep your catalog updated with new arrivals and pricing changes. With your catalog now showcasing your amazing products, this next feature is like your digital doorbell, enabling customers to contact you directly. The short link feature makes it simple for new customers to message your business. When potential customers click on this link, it'll open a chat directly with your business and include a preset message. This message is meant to initiate conversation and can lead to a high success rate in engaging prospects. The great thing is that a short link for your business is automatically generated when you created an account on the app. You'll just wanna tap tools and then short link. Here, you can view your auto-generated link, share it directly, copy and paste it onto your social media pages, or use a QR code to give even faster access. You also have the option to edit the pre-filled message that customers will send when they use the link. A simple greeting like, hello, I'm interested in your hat collection will work perfectly here. Automated messages are a lifesaver if you're an entrepreneur juggling multiple tasks. These are preset messages for different scenarios your business may run into. There are three types. Your greeting message is your virtual welcome to your new customers. Think of something like, welcome to Tori's Hats. We're excited to help you find the perfect hat. How can we assist you today? Your away message is for when your business is closed. It should provide reassurance and clear communication on when customers can expect a response. For example, thanks for reaching out to Tori's Hats. We're currently closed, but we'll get back to you as soon as we're open. And you can set up quick replies for frequently asked questions like, can you customize hats? What are your store hours? Or an order confirmation. Having answers to these questions ready to go reduces friction and saves time. Now that we've automated our greetings and responses, let's organize the chaos with labels. Labels are the ultimate tool for keeping your customer interactions neat and tidy. They allow you to segment your contacts into different lists. Just go to tools, scroll down and tap labels. Here, you can use some of their default label options, or if you have something a bit more specific in mind, you can create your own, like regulars, custom orders, or promotions. Whenever you wanna add someone to your segmented group, you can click on the chat's name at the top to access contact info. 
scroll to labels and add them to a group. This level of organization enables you to reach out more effectively to various customer groups and their needs. Look at you segmenting your contacts. That effort is invaluable for our next step. Personalized messages build better one-on-one -on -one connections with customers, boosting engagement and sales. But how do you send a mass message and still keep that personal touch? WhatsApp lets you do this easily through broadcast channels. These allow you to send a mass message to a group while maintaining individual engagement. But be careful. Customers who receive mass messages and poorly filled out templates are guaranteed to leave you on red. To avoid this, something as simple as using a recipient's first name can create a sense of familiarity and make them feel valued. So instead of using a generic greeting like, hello everyone, you can address each recipient by their first name or previous purchase. But before sending out messages, remember, it's crucial to consider how you can incorporate your business's unique selling proposition into your messaging and find even more ways to tailor it to your audience. So if I have a group labeled promotions, knowing the recipients are interested in exclusive deals and special offers, I tailor my messaging to something like, hi, get an extra 10% off every custom hat order up to $200. You can also boost engagement here by including images, videos, and documents. No matter how creative you decide to get with your mixed media messages, make sure that each message provides value to the customer, whether it's informative, promotional, or service related. The call to action should be clear and direct. Another easy way to generate attention on WhatsApp for your business is with status updates. These allow you to post timely and engaging content like announcements, sneak peeks, and behind the scenes glimpses. It's a low lift way to keep your audience engaged and informed. With that being said, you can dig even deeper into WhatsApp for business with our free HubSpot Academy course. Master templates, lead generation, and customer support. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Now that we've got the basics down, let's explore some advanced features and tools designed to streamline big tasks. This is especially important for large businesses handling a high volume of messaging. First up is the WhatsApp Business API. This is a true game changer for businesses with larger customer bases. Imagine managing thousands of conversations effortlessly. That's what the API brings to the table. But what about integrating all this with your existing systems? Here's where third-party tools come in. Integrating WhatsApp with a CRM system like HubSpot levels up your customer management. It synchronizes your contact lists, enables you to manage conversations directly from the CRM platform, and tracks customer interactions. Speaking of those customers, they don't want to have to wait to hear back from you. As a matter of fact, they expect an almost immediate response. A study revealed that 71% of people surveyed want to speak to companies in real time. If you're stressing out right now thinking about how to get that task done, WhatsApp chatbots and autoresponders are the way to go. They're cost-effective, allow you to reach more customers at the same time, and increase your ability to respond quickly. In a nutshell, they can significantly improve your customer support. Chatbots handle immediate replies to common questions, while autoresponders manage customer expectations when live agents aren't available by providing guidance and information about expected response times. Okay, so let's move from theory to practice and see the power of WhatsApp for business in action. Amaro, a pioneering online women's fashion retailer from Brazil, experimented with WhatsApp business as a messaging channel in 2019. They wanted to enhance pre-purchase support, customer care, and reduce costs. Since implementation, they saw a 58% reduction in phone support costs, a 93% customer satisfaction score, and 92% of customer queries resolved on first contact. With all that success in mind, let's talk about the other side of the coin. Here are some common mistakes your business should absolutely avoid when using WhatsApp. Mistake number one, over-messaging. Businesses often make the mistake of sending way too many messages. To avoid this, limit sending templates to no more than once per week unless it's for necessary account updates. Over-messaging can lead to customers opting out or blocking your number. Which brings us to mistake number two, lack of opt-in awareness. Make sure your marketing messages are only sent to those who have explicitly opted into receiving messages. You must also provide a way for consumers to opt out of your subscriber list at any time. Always include the phrase to opt out reply stop with any marketing message you send. 
If you're stuck on how to go about getting those opt-ins, I got you. You can ask customers directly in chats if they want updates from your business, add a simple opt-in form to your website, or offer some old school paper signups in your store or at your events. Easy and effective. After avoiding those common mistakes, it's time to focus on crafting a content strategy that resonates and understanding how to measure its impact. A quick content strategy hack is to create marketing message templates. These are ready to use structures that you can use to speed up your creative process. If you're looking to increase your feedback response rate, for example, you could use this template. Hi, it's been a few days since your order was delivered. Could you take a minute to tell us about your experience? You can create endless templates for common situations. Just make sure to customize them for each campaign. When it comes to measuring the success of your campaign, it can be broken down into two parts. Set specific objectives, like driving sales during a promotional period, and track crucial metrics. These are things like rate of new subscriptions, unsubscribes, and revenue generated. This data will not only measure the success of Tory's Hat's current WhatsApp campaigns, but also inform adjustments and improvements to be made for future campaigns. There you have it. We've covered everything from setting up your profile to mastering automated messaging and beyond. Remember, if used correctly, WhatsApp for Business is a game changer for personalized customer interactions and efficient business communication. Don't miss out on our comprehensive WhatsApp business course to take your business strategy to the next level. As always, subscribe to the channel for more insights, tips, and tools. Until next time, bye-bye. I can't find this client info. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform, so it shares its data across every application. Every team can stay aligned. No out-of-sync spreadsheets or dueling databases. HubSpot. Grow better.